Hello, everyone. I came across a very killer utility, so I thought I should talk about that. I found it very handy. So whenever I want to easily expose my HTTP localhost to the internet for testing, I have started using this utility called ngrok, N-G-R-O-K. And below is a screenshot that you can see uh, that tells you how to map it. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps. This has been very handy for me. Why should you care? Uh, for some of you, it may be very obvious, but just to make it more explicit, many times we do local development and do local testing and we get something working at HTTP localhost. It could be your website. It could be some API, like I showed in one of my previous tutorial for Copilot uh, uh, skill extension. But what if you want to share this local host with your friends, colleagues, customers, or the internet, just for them to take a quick look and give you feedback. Or you may want to do integration testing with other internet services, which could be Azure, Copilot Studio, or what have you. Uh, like I mentioned in one of my previous tutorial, I did use this and showed you how to quickly uh, just run something on your local machine, do integration testing before you actually do the deployment. So NCROC is a very simple way to do this. On our medium page of Cloudatica, we have also written article on this. So you can, if you prefer the written document, you can follow the steps there. So this is very simple to install. All I have to do is I just search for NCROC download and I came across this page. You can use some utility. I actually chose the download. Uh, you can use it for Mac, Windows, whatever. So I have already done the download and it's in my folder. Now, how do I show it? So I'll go to Visual Studio and let's say, I'll stop this here. Let's say I already have a code here. And this is, I'll just start it again. So as you can see, now I've started my local development which is listening to http uh, this sign means local host so http local host at some port in case of website or something it could be 80 uh, doesn't matter uh, depends what you have i'll just copy here and maybe i'll go to my web page now this is a very special kind of web page so it will not show but uh, let's say i go to local host uh this port and I say API um, messages. And this is a website. I have not written the get method, but you get the point. Now, what if you want to uh, integrate this or show this to someone who is not on your local machine because they cannot access your machine. So this local host will not work for you. And this is where NGROC helps a lot. So all you need to do is after you download NGROC, you have to sign up. So I have signed up and here's my account. So once you sign up, all you need to do is in this one, here's some setup instruction, which is for sign, which is for downloading and installing. And then you need to have a auth token. You can generate one. I have already created one. I'll reset this auth token after I upload this video. But after you have this auth token, just copy this. And that's all you need to run. You can also put it in a configuration file so that you don't have to run it every time you open a session. But in this case, I'll just take this. I'll go to my terminal. I'm using Mac, uh, so my experience might be a little different from what you see on Windows, but steps are the same. So I'm just doing this. Uh, ngrok config add auth token, and I just gave my auth token. Since I have ngrok in this folder, I'm just going to do like this, and that's it. So now it has added. After this, all I need to do is ngrok HTTP because I'm mapping HTTP port and the local URL with the port. And as soon as you do it, that's it. You get web interface, which was this, and you get forwarding. So this is the internet accessible URL that ngrok has created for you, which is mapping to local host on this port. I can just copy this and just show you on a browser. Maybe I'll open another tab and just do this. As you can see, the site is there. 
Of course, I have not mapped anything, but as you can see, this is a web accessible URL that you can use for integration testing, or you can use for sharing with your friends, colleagues, customers, whatever you want to do. So that's all. Hope you found this quick video helpful. If you need any consulting, training, or coaching help on AI, Power Platform, or anything technical related to this, do reach out to us. Our email is hello at cloudatica.com. Thank you. Have a great day.